Uh, these are the five acres of the orange flesh sweet potato production garden for Nakurato Primary School. This garden was basically established by mothers. There were 60 mothers and fathers to, who were selected from the community to help the school in establishing this garden, given that the students themselves do not have the capacity to do such work. So the, their parents were involved into setting up this garden. And the approach we used for establishing this garden was a labor-intensive public work where the mothers and fathers would come and work for maximum three hours in a day. And that would facilitate them to also go and do work outside this garden. Now, this work here has been done within 21 days, the heaping and planting. And also the mother, uh, the community is engaged in weeding of this garden for it to look the way it is looking like you can see. I would say the school, this food is being produced to complement the school, the WFP school feeding program. And we want to introduce another meal, another kind of meal within the menu for the students. Now, this garden you're seeing here can be able to feed the students for one and a half months without incorporating the maize into their menus. So we feel it is a good approach involving the parents, the community, the district local government, the sub-county leadership, all the stakeholders in two sustainable approaches. We are trying to uh, grow karamoja to feed Karamoja. But besides the orange fleshed sweet potato, we also have what we have envisioned is introducing the drought resistant upland yam into the schools to also complement the WFP school feeding program. First of all, we've piloted it here in Kotido district. It has been tested and proven to withstand the harsh climate conditions we have here. So it is also a way to go that AFI, in partnership with WFP, are looking into to complement the orange fleshed sweet potato and overall the school feeding program of it. A heap of orange flesh sweet potato. You see it has three vines all around. Now this particular vine alone can produce up to three big potatoes. So implying that in this heap we can harvest up to nine sweet potatoes. Now a child, a P1 child, P2 child, nursery child will just need only one sweet potato to meet their requirements for a day. So we'll, we are looking at alternating. So if they serve them with the orange flesh sweet potatoes today, the next day they can serve them with the maize. So this food basically is being grown to complement the WFP school feeding program.